G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to create an event in Google Business Profile. Let's jump into it. So I've got my event right here. What my event is going to be, so I'm presenting again at SCORE, so SCORE Broward County. If anyone doesn't know what that is, it's a huge not-for-profit organization that spans across the states and helps our entrepreneurs and business owners and the likes. Awesome free event that you can come along to, October 22nd. Uh, the 10, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, you can register here, free link, and I'll be presenting anything to do with local SEO. So how to get that little bit of an edge over your competitor should join. So I'm going to create an event in my Google business profile for this. The reason this has been made is because I work with a lot of my clients as one off. So a lot of people are completely understandable, don't have the budget to come in and have SEO done every single month. That's okay. But a one off can make all the difference in the world. I just had a client come in, Cyrus, this video is for you, mate. It'll help you create those events in your Google business profile. So if you want a one-off service, if you want a one-off, an optimization of your Google business profile, hit me up. We do that at my agency. So this is something that we can do, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do today. So you come over to your uh, Google business profile, you come into the back end, as you can see right here. All you need to do is scroll over and scroll down to the post right here where my mouse is. Click on that. Now it's going to be behind me, but you'll see this little blue button down here. That's what you can click on. So you click on that. Now I do have another video where I talk about every single one of these posts. I'll link that up above, down below, wherever it'll be there. I assure you of that. But what we're doing is a post today. So we want to go across and click on event. Now, when it comes to events, they're important because what they do is they can help give you a bit of a lift in the search ranking. So let's say you and your competitor, same thing. Let's say you're an electrician, you're a plumber, you're a medical clinic, you're a law firm, whatever it is. If you and your competitor are exactly the same, but you're throwing an event where you're talking about a, a case you just won or a patient you just saved as an example, you're having an event, Google is going to roar you over your competitor because you've got activity you've got something going on google rewards activity so that's why you want to utilize these you don't want to go out and create an event all the time let's say you're having an, a service as an example it runs at this time every single day of the month <clears throat> it's better to drip feed that than it is to just smash google and say every single tuesday whenever it is we have something going on do, 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 do. Google will devalue it. It will start to push you down and you'll just sit as the same as the person that doesn't have anything going on. So use it sparingly, but use it when it's appropriate. Like this, I'm going back and presenting at score. This is appropriate for my business. So all you need to utilize is you just go in and grab a picture, whatever one you want to utilize. You have a picture of your team because you're doing something that's team related. Utilize that. So I'm going to grab an image. Computer's awfully slow, so let's grab that one. And I'm just going to utilize the same image that Score has right here for me. Look at business work needed to be higher in Google. Let's grab that, we'll utilize that. Okay, so there's my image. Now what you have is you can add as many as you want. If you want to add a few more images, go and throw them in there. That'll be completely fine. Now, event title, so we can talk about the event. Uh, presenting. Uh, SEO, there we go. So just something that explains what's going on. Now, because I have a time, I'm time specific, I'm, it's happening at 10 a.m. EST, so I want to set that in there. Now, you can have it, perhaps it's an all-day event. You can have it where it starts in the morning, ends uh, in the evening. You can set times if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to. That's why it's optional. So let's start at 10, and it's going to end at 11. Which is a bit laggy, so sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it's... um. It's been a little bit, um, knows it's Friday, I guess. That's why. All right. So the 22nd of October. 
should also show the 22nd of October, but it's like I said, it's been slow. Um, okay, so let's just make sure I shouldn't have the click button anymore, but there we go. Yeah, so I don't know why it's being quite slow. I guess maybe Google's doing something or something's going on with my computer, but we'll crack on anyway. So you click this little add more details options here. So you want to put in as much content as you possibly can. Google will read that, see that, and understand what you're doing more. So it will probably rank that. If you just create the title, the time, it's good, but it's better to have content that actually explain what's going on. So here we go. So any of these types of things uh, you can enter. As much detail as possible. As you can see, I'm not going dramatically out, but I'm explaining. So if you yourself were to come along to my post and see what it's about, what's going on, what am I talking about, you'll see this and be like, okay, local business citations, local business uh, link building, on-page SEO, and let's do website conversion optimization. Website. All right. So that's what I'm going to talk about. They're the type of topics. So it's, it's informative. The event, you know what's going on if you're creating an event for your business. Okay, so we've done that. Um, this event is free to anyone. Join me. And then you can place the link here. Okay, so I'm going to grab the page. Now, if it depends on what you're doing, what you're looking at, that you don't need to place in a link. There doesn't always need to be a link off. You can get funky with it. You can get creative any way you want to do. You can put anything in there. It just depends on what the event is pertaining to, what it surrounds. So now you have the option right here. You've got the book, order online, buy, learn more, sign up, call now. I'm going to put sign up. So, and then this has the link down here. I can paste the link in here. Now, all we need to do is hit publish. So this should publish now. Once this is published, you just want to double check it. Uh, as you can see, waiting for Google. Um, down the bottom, this is this is crazy slow. I haven't seen Google this slow in some time. So the reason I like placing the event in here and in the sign up button, there's two locations for people to click to. So if they click on the post when it's actually presented in the SERP and in, in my actual business profile. So if you're to go along, you should be able to find this post depending upon when it is. But you can see this and easily click on either the link or the sign up option. It just depends. You want to be able to give as many people as many options as possible to click that link. So if I was to hit sign up, I should now be taken across to that landing page set up by score for my presentation. So then that way, anyone that's looking to register for this event, they can go across and click on it. Bada bing, bada boom. You can join the event. It's free. Come along. I'd be, I'd be more than happy to have you there. I hope that I've answered the question of how to create an event in Google Business Profile. If I have, make sure you give me that like. 